This video will cover moderate level questions regarding the topic of piecewise function, limits and graphing. This is the first question. The first graph is y equals minus x plus 1. So y intercept is 1, the slope is minus 1. So 1 to the right, 1 down, 1 to the right, 1 down. So the graph passes through. 5 comma minus 4 and the slope is minus 1 the interval is x is less than minus 1 so take x equals minus 1 with the whole and goes up to the left and then the graph of y equals x passes through the origin the slope is 1, so left hand corner to the right hand corner. The interval is x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and the less than 1. So start with x equals minus 1 with a shaded region and then until x equals 1 with the whole. The last one is y equals x minus 1 squared minus 1. This is quadratic function. The vertex is 1 comma minus 1. So 1 comma minus 1 here. And 1 to the right, 1 up. 1 to the right, 3 up. Like this. And the left side is exactly the same. And connect the points and make the curve. Interval is x is greater than or equal to 1. So start with the vertex and the y side part. Then combine this graph together. The first one, the minus 1, 2 with the whole, and slope is minus 1. And the second graph minus 1 comma minus 1 and goes up until 1 comma 1 the last one the vertex is 1 comma minus 1 and then the graph passes through this point so make the curve like this so we get this piecewise function y equals f of x Number A, limit of f of x, x approaches minus 1 from the left side, the y value is approaching 2. Number B, the limit of f of x, as x approaches minus 1 from the right, the y value is approaching minus 1. And number C, the left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal so it does not exist and number d f of minus 1 when x equals exactly minus 1 the y value is minus 1 so the answer is minus 1 number e limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left side the y value is approaching 1. Number f, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right side, the y value is approaching minus 1. And number g, the left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal, so it does not exist. And number h, when x equals exactly 1, the y value is minus 1. This is the next question. The first graph y equals x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. The denominator can be factored x minus 2 x plus 2. And then we can cancel the common factor so left over is 1 over x plus 2. So we can rewrite as 
f of x equals 1 over x plus 2 if x never be minus 2 and 2 and minus 1 if x equals 2. y equals 1 over x plus 2 graph is the y equals 1 over x graph shifted by 2 to the left. So x equals minus 2 is vertical asymptote. So I will write down here. And then the graph passes from minus 1, comma 1. The curve is like this. And then another one is here. But x never be minus 2 already and 2. So we have to make the hole here. And when x equals 2, the y value is minus 1. So that means 2 comma minus 1 is here. So this is piecewise function y equals f of x. Number a, limit of f of x as x approaches minus 2 from the left side, the y value is going down. So it's minus infinity. Number b, limit of f of x as x approaches minus 2 from the right side, so the y value is goes up like this, which is infinity. And then A answer and B answer are not equal. So number C, it does not exist. And number D, this is already vertical asymptote. So also does not exist. And number E, limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left side, the y value is approaching here, which is 1 over 4, because this graph is y equal 1 over x plus 2. So when 2 put here, the answer is 1 over 4. And number f is the same thing. The limit of f of x, x approaches 2 from the right side. So the y value is approaching 1 over 4. And number G is either side, so same answer, 1 over 4. And number H, the 2 comma minus 1 is here, so the answer is minus 1. And number J, this is horizontal asymptote, which is x-axis. So y equals 0, that is the answer. This is the next question. Number A, limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the right side equal limit of 2 minus x as x approaches 0 from the right side. So put 0 into x, 2 minus 0, which is 2. That is the answer. Number B, limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the either side. So we have to check about either side. So first one, limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left side equals same thing. But this time f of x equals 2 minus x and then put 2 into x, so 2 minus 2 equals 0. And then second one, limit of f of x, as x approaches 2 from the right side, so limit as x approaches 2 from the right side, this time f of x equals x minus 2 squared, and then put 2 into x, is 2 minus 2 squared, which is 0 squared, so the answer equals 0. So, with these two, 
the limit of fx, the left hand side, is the same as right hand side. So finally, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 equals 0. That is the answer. This is the last question. Limit of f of x as x approaches 0 exists when limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the left side equals limit of f of x as x approaches right side. So it can be write as limit of right now f of x means 2 to the power of minus x so as x approaches 0 from the left side and then limit as x approaches 0 from the right side so f of x means x squared plus a and then put 0 into x so 2 to the power of minus 0 equals 0 squared plus a this means 1 equals a so we have the answer and then using second limit so this one is exist the left hand limit is the same as right hand limit so limit as x approaches 2 from the left side, right now f of x means x squared plus a equals limit as x approaches 2 from the right side. So f of x means b minus x minus 4 squared. And then put 2 into x. So 2 squared plus a but we already know about the value of a, which means 1 equals b minus x is 2, so 2 minus 4 squared. So 4 plus 1, which is 5, equals b minus, is minus 2 squared. The 5 equals b minus, which is 4. So therefore, B equals 9. I hope this video has been helpful. The previous lesson is also linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.